Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about how to quiet the noise. How do we be happy and peaceful in environments that are constantly distracting us? How do we walk every day in a place of appreciation and gratitude and feeling no stress and feeling empowered and energized when all this noise is happening around us? there are always two forces at play. The force of the king ego and the force of king spirit. Our force of life comes from spirit. So it's like, that's why Star Wars is so popular because, you know, maybe the force be with you. I think that branding alone is what made it so successful because it speaks to each one of us. We can all relate to the Force. We don't always recognize it or tune into it, but that is the key to quiet the noise. So how do we do that? Meditate when you wake up. There are many guided meditations that I have provided on my channel that will help you with your nervous system or with stress or with um, you know uncertainty. All of them are meant to assist with mental wellness. So meditation is so powerful and yet it's so hard at first it seems. It seems so hard for us to connect deeply with spirit but it will happen. You just need to practice it. That's why it's called a practice. So if you practice meditation, and especially guided meditations are easier because you're being guided, the noise will be quieted. Take a moment to go into your heart because we always want to come from our mind. But you see, the ego operates the mind and spirit is spoken through the heart. So when you can wake up in the morning and tune into your heart, that is the well of knowledge of what is truly going to give you inner peace and success in this lifetime. King Ego will come through the mind. King Ego will tell you, you need to do this, you need to do that, you only have so much time. You have to have these things done so that you can move on and do the next thing. These are all illusions of time and space, which is where the ego operates. We need to be in the mind, we need to be in activity to operate in this environment, in this paradigm. But we can also come in and out regularly, meaning come in and out of the noise. We want to get to that higher state of operating. This is why we have pandemics, why we have illnesses or setbacks. We're forced back inward, we're forced back to Think about how we need to come back to our hearts. When a child is born, the child is completely one with the universe in the heart space. The infant will communicate through the heart of the universe, through the entirety of all that is because the infant is only aware of that heart communication. And the infant will, more or less, get what he or she needs because it's communicating through the heart. When we communicate through our hearts, there are invisible powers that assist us. It's really hard to believe that and to realize that and remember that all the time. We can even summon these invisible powers. We can summon masters. We can summon saints, Jesus, Yogananda, Babaji, Krishna. We can summon whoever we connect with on a spiritual level. We can summon these energies to guide us 
and to speak to us and to clear the way for us. We have so much power. There is nature all around you. You have the opportunity to go into an environment of nature. This is a very strong ally to quiet the noise. When you take the time to go for a walk or a jog or even a 10 minutes standing in nature and looking around, looking at the trees and the sun and the sky and the clouds, it is the opportunity to quiet the noise and connect deeply with all that is, which will get you back into your heart. So I highly recommend you getting back into nature every day. It should be a priority like brushing your teeth. It's so important for us all to balance the amount of noise that comes in daily. We have everything in this lifetime. We have access to information. We have access to beauty, to nature, to God, to connection, to friendships, to food, to shelter. We are supremely blessed. Spirit is the engine of success. What is success? Success is inner peace and the feeling of the connection with all that is. We will always have desires and we will always have goals, but that is the activity of the ego. That is kind of the having fun in the playground. But the true essence of bliss and joy and peace and success is that connection to spirit, that removal of the noise. So when you find that you're becoming overwhelmed with noise, whether it be from what you're ingesting from the internet, information, news, family, work, your own thoughts, whatever that is, there are three main things you can do. Number one, meditate. Listen to your breath in the meditation. Number two, get into nature. And number three, realize that you need to tune into your heart. Spirit is in your heart. There are other ways too that, you know, maybe if you can just have a nap or if you can go and enjoy some nice food, some healthy food and be in the moment of eating that food. But of course, yes, it all comes down to the moment, right? But when we're in the moment, sometimes we're letting in too much noise. Just be aware of how valuable you are, how precious you are, how loved you are, how needed you are here. You would not be here if you weren't. So we need you to be well. So I hope that this helped. Please leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to speak about. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.